FSD version 9 is out and I've watched hours of videos so you don't have to. Let me also compile and compress all of the changes and comments way down for you. Big changes. Tesla Vision. No more radar, camera vision only. This is a huge accomplishment. New UI display. Graphics are better. No more jittery cars in the other lanes bouncing around. Brake lights on other people's cars showing up in the UI. Really cool. Selfie camera. Now it's watching you, so you need to pay attention. Top comments. Smooth. You will hear this a hundred times per video. <laughs> the, there is much less jerking or jittery steering wheels. More natural. Accelerating, braking, and during corners and lane changes also, the car just drives more naturally. Honestly, this about summarizes everything that I saw. The vast majority of improvements seem to center around it being smoother and more natural. In terms of it actually handling more non-standard situations, probably a little bit. There may be some less fails, but there are also some very serious fails. Check it out. So treated it like a stop sign. There's a nice little roll through it. Um, now it's making us go in this lane over here. What's going on here? Whoa. Oh, wow. Wow. Not really sure what went on there. And, oh, God, I'm going to take over because the car is scratching my entire side on all these yeah, bushes. Still so handle everything. Yeah, horrible driver. We were fine. Oh, man. You did it perfectly. Mm hmm I mean, this is a pretty, cr this is a super tight, windy road with no markings, really. And it's just, it's crushing it, honestly. Like, it's hard to, like, look and seize this guy. Whoa. Oh, totally avoided him. Okay. That was good. That was good, yeah. Right around and give him a little space and slow down. So now we're merging back on the road we originally were on before our little cahoots. Let's see what's happening here. It's crossing a solid white while in the Yeah, this is all the way over here. Oh, because we're making a right. So this oh, is a okay. this is a bus and taxi only lane. That's not These are parking spots. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna let see what's going on. We'll see what happens. Alright. Yeah. We're now in the right turn lane, but it got us over way too early. And it's wide open on the left, so it can go. But it's sticking out pretty far. I'm in the lane. It needs to go. It needs to go. It needs to go. Okay, I'm having to hit the accelerator there for oncoming cars. And that one, uh, I'll say, was a fail. Full self-driving is now turned back on. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I was paying attention, but even that it took me by alarm. This is like an unmarked street, so it's usually interesting to see how the car positions itself. It's perfect. It's great. It's not like jerking around the road. This is fantastic, you guys. Now we need to get all the way to the left before this light. So let's see what happens. Now turn left onto Pierce Street. Take, almost said take over immediately, but it fixed stuff. So we are in the wrong lane, um, or in the middle lane. It wanted us to turn left here. It didn't quite get us all the way over. So that was very unfortunate. Um, we'll have to reset it and see what happens. These people crossing, that's kind of nice. Oh, what? Okay. Not sure why I wanted to put me into that Kia. Not sure if there's any traffic coming right now or not. I'm not sure why it's wanting to go right there on that intent vector. Oh, where were you going? Uh, while it is clear, there's no way it could have seen if it was clear. I've got an obstructed left here. It needs to creep out, which is what it says it's doing. I'm going to try to give you the view here. Okay, it needs to stop. Okay, a lot of traffic coming. More traffic coming. I'm going to kind of keep this here and look left because I can't risk it going. I'm having to lean way forward to see the traffic. Um, sorry about that. It can't go yet. I'm trying to get rid of all this stuff and still drive safely. Nope, it needs to wait. Nope, it needs to wait. Okay, it can go now. And it's going. And it needs to stop in or go in the left lane. I let it go and it can go in the left lane. It's got to, okay, I got to accelerate. All right, so there was a, the first part, it did it pretty good. If it had stayed in the left lane, 
it could have worked just fine but there was a car rapidly accelerating in this lane I'm in now and my nose was sticking out so I had to commit uh, there and it didn't commit and there we go oh the camera sees cones whoa, whoa. Jesus Christ okay. That was turning us straight towards that Camry. I, oh, wow. John managed to grab it in time. I don't know if we would have hit it, but we would have been really we, close. I, no comment. So here we have a sign here that's saying close to through traffic coming this way. So I'm curious to know how it will maneuver around that sign that's not showing up on here. Oh, there is. Oh, wow. It went right around it. That's, that's very impressive. The truck's going by. Let's see what it's doing here. Creeping, checking for visibility. It cannot go. All right, I'm now in the lane and look how wide this car had to go around me. Oh, what, is it gonna get gutsy and take a ride on red? No way! <laughs> oh, wow, crushing it, right on red? <laughs> I mean, that was, that I feel like was way doper than 8.2. Like 8.2 might have tried that, but it would have taken forever and been super jerky. Oh, wow. Okay. It's going wide there. You know, we can go stop. I'm actually going to have to take over because we're not, so people are going to have to turn. So a bunch of vans double parked up here. So let's see how the system reacts. Oh, wow. It's being really aggressive. Yeah, around right. that. that was quite aggressive. Super aggressive. <laughs> It kept accelerating that. as it was going around. I, yeah, it really accelerated through that. I really like that. Whoa. <laughs> What's it going to do? Let's see what happens. Let's see. Let's play this one out. <laughs> Alright, so it's... It is technically two lanes. Oh. See, I don't know if it was going to hit the thing there or I was just being too cautious. So I've got this set up to make a left exit out of this roundabout. Let's see how it does. So I had to take over there. The car was being pretty hesitant and there was another car coming up next to me and I didn't want to create a weird situation for that person. But the, the vehicle got to the roundabout and it, I think it wanted to jump, it wanted to go into the lane next to it, but it knew it couldn't because the car was there. And it, I don't know, it just kind of was going slow. So I took over. Just trying to figure out if that's a turn lane or not, which it is. It's a little bit, this is some 8.2. This is an 8.2 move right here. Totally in it, like, come on, bro. Whoa. Oh, I shouldn't have. I mean, it was just yeah. too close. It was just, I disengaged. I disengaged. See, it'd be cool if it shows these columns on it. Yeah, because it, it didn't. It doesn't even show them. It didn't show the column. I was not going to risk that. Like, <laughs> try and figure out what the car is thinking at the same time. Oh, I don't like that. Holy. So it clearly, honestly, not jiving well with the monorail. Whoa. All right. <laughs> so it doesn't even see it doesn't It just see doesn't the see these columns. Honestly, like. It's Fair it. feedback for the team, like the Seattle monorail columns are invisible <laughs> to Autobo. Are you serious? Build light. Okay, he's got his car door open now. Okay, it needs to give him a lot of room. Okay, it crossed the yellow line to avoid that car. It didn't slow down enough, but that was one of those weird scenarios, not just the car, but the door. It did really good on that one. Oh, nice. I don't think it's I don't know if it saw those planters there okay so now we have the arrow and these people are illegally walking but it sees them and it's gonna start going anyway these people are gonna not illegally walk oh I don't know just see see there it it didn't slow down enough and the angle was directed at the people as opposed to taking a tighter, slower angle. And so that's why I disengaged there. A little bit wide there. I don't know why. Okay, okay, it got confused. There's nobody behind me, so I'm gonna let it do its thing. Okay, it fixed it. Can't complain. If there was a policeman behind me or another car, they'd have been like, what are you doing? Uh, but it got where it needed to go. I don't know if you can see this over here. There's a lot of construction. Obviously, constructions are deviations from the maps. 
So while there used to be two lanes here, there's only one now, and it had to figure it out, and it did. A little jerky, but I'm not gonna complain that uh, it did the wrong thing, it just kind of was a little erratic. I don't think it would have turned out that well in version 8.2. Those construction confusion points usually didn't end well. I don't think it changed. I don't think the behavior is any better for sure. Overall, I have to admit, I'm quite impressed with this update. Yeah, we did have to have a few takeovers throughout this drive, but it's rather impressive in all its other aspects. Like, you sometimes when you go forward, you have to take two steps forward, but you go one step back, and this software clearly went forward a good amount. It's just a few things still, you know, it's obviously still beta, so we have to think about that. But um, I'm actually impressed. This 9 beta, a lot better than 8.2 already for my uh, first drive on it.